Hi there. So I'm going to um, go ahead and have another go at this. It's actually my third time trying to make this. But anyway, um, now that I've opened up my cheat sheet, the work that I did during homeroom today to take a look at my model and how I set it up because everything worked out well. I ended up with a nice face that looks kind of like this. So, of course, I started with a box. And um, my parameters for my box will be like um, 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters with one length segment, one width segment, and one height segment. I'm going to press the J key to turn off the cage. So J turns off that cage, turn on edged faces, and set it to clay so I can just see how light's playing on it. And so I've got, got my edge faces on. And I'm going to convert this thing to an editable poly. So right now I'm, I want to make sure that I'm always looking at the front. And I also want to make sure that my box is positioned at 0, 0, 0. So I get the move tool. And I zero out the X, Y, and Z positions of the box. And now the box is nice and squarely placed at the origin, zero, zero, zero. All right. So I'm going to work on my front here. This editable poly, I'm going to go grab this very front polygon, press the Z key to zoom on it, and then wheel out just a little bit so I can move back from this. And I'm going to do an inset. I'm going to click the inset menu button. And that inset right there of one centimeter, um, I'm okay with that. I'm going to click the check mark and say, I'll take that inset, one centimeter. Just take the one that they give you. Cool. Next, I'm going to do a bevel. So I'm going to open up the bevel menu. And I definitely do not want to bevel out. So I'm going to right click both spinners, right clicking both spinners. And then I want to spin in the negative direction. I want the bevel to go into the TV. And I want it to go in a ways. I want it to go in a ways. And I also want to make that bevel have a little tilt inwards, so a little negativeness to the bevel, so maybe a negative point 2 and, um, and negative 2 centimeters. That's a long way. Uh, maybe I'll go negative 1.2 centimeters in. And, and even that's a really good distance. And let's see, what about if I go with negative 0.4 on that? Yeah, okay. Slope, it's sloping in, sloping it in gently from where I drop it down. All right, yeah, later I'll be able to, you know, oops. It's coming back to me now how I did this. So I'm going to click the check mark. I'll accept that. I like that. I got this bevel going here now. And then um, now at this point, um, I want to break the screen up into two halves. At least I, I think I do. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I want to break the screen up into two halves. And so uh, I'm going to switch from polygons to edge. And I'm just going to grab those two edges and click the connect button and that's going to cut this polygon in half and I'm going to move this edge down into uh, like the bottom quarter of the screen so the top three-fourths 75% of the screen is going to be where my screen is going to be 25% where the controls will be this is going to kind of cut this into the two pieces so I can be able to model the bottom and model the top. Now, up here on the top, back on polygons, I just get that top polygon. Let me turn off that move tool just for a moment here. And I want to do a rather large inset. So this inset looks to me like I must have done it at least 1.5. It might have even been a full two. In fact, I think I'm going to pop two in there and see what it looks like. Two looks pretty good. I look at the original reference image here. The screen's actually offset quite a bit from the edge. There's a, a lot of space there. Um, uh, at the bottom, it is kind of narrow. I'll, I can always adjust that later. Maybe I'll just go 1.5. 
okay, I'm happy with 1.5. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be close. I'll click the little check mark. Now, next I'm going to um, do another inset. This is going to be a, a kind of a, a smallish inset. So not quite as big as that. We'll try the negative 0.7. I'll click the green check mark. I'm going to press the W key to get the move tool. And I'm going to pull this polygon out. Pull the polygon out. And I'm going to say I'm trying to finagle this. I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to do another inset. This one, I think I will make it larger. Pull it out a little bit more. Yeah. And then I think I'm going to try one more inset. Hit the check mark. Pull it out just one more. All right. Now I'm going to switch to edges. This is probably not going to work. Yeah, not bad. No, nope, cutting things up here real bad. Terrible. Let me stop that. I may have just naturally created a, just by doing insets and moving it out, gotten the curvature that I wanted. Yeah, um, I think I'll be able to make this work. Let me click that edge. Now, when I did that, believe it or not, it went all the way to the back. Turn off that move tool, pull down my control key, double click that edge. And believe it or not, it went all the way to the back. Now I'm going to double click this edge. And it, it actually loops down through here and all the way around. And I'm actually going to remove part of that selection. And let me double click that edge. And again, um, it, it looped down to this spot, but it did not pick up the bottom. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key and I'm going to deselect those edges. Press down my Control key. Oops. Do my like it's gonna see this. I double click that edge, and that did pick up all the way to the end. Hold the control key down, double click that edge, and that did pick up all the way to the end also. And then I'm gonna turn on that camper tool again. And yeah, this actually works out even way better than the last time I did this. Pretty nice. I'm going to jump the number of segments up to like three. Maybe even four. And I'm going to increase the camphor width. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Getting that nice rounded edge look here to this. I like that. A little too thick there.
Well, I'm okay with that. I'm going to make it work. Exaggeration is okay. It's got the look. It definitely has the look. All right. There's something else weird going here on the front. I wonder if I have some odd edge. So I hope not. We'll find out if I've blown it up or not. I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, this little Spider-Man web right here, I'll be able to clean this up um, and uh, uh, take a lot of these polygons out. Um, deselect. All right. And then what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to select all of these edges around the corners. And I'll go to the top, keep holding down my control key as I click each of these edges. When I'm done, I should have like 20 edges selected. Let's see, what does it say over here? 20 edges selected. There's five in each corner, got 20 edges selected. All right, I'm gonna click the connect button once. And that just gave me a nice little, what I call a ring of fire here. I went down to a burning ring of fire. Okay, Johnny Cash, stop. Press the move tool, the W key, because you notice when I put that ring in, now that entire edge is selected. And I'm gonna grab it in Y, and I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit just to give it a little altitude right there. And then I'm gonna apply that camphor tool all the way around, hit that camphor tool. And that's gonna kind of round things out nicely here. Now, this number is pretty big, I think, for, for, for that value. But let's see here, yeah, looks pretty good. Probably don't need, yeah, I'll go with two. Let me close this out just for a sec. I'm going to move that up just a little bit more. And then when I hit it with that camphor, okay, I will do four. And that's zero. And that's that's the end of the road. It's going to hit it right there. I'll go with that. And it's a press. All right. Now I've got my edges nicely rounded here. They are nicely rounded. I got the area for my screen. Um, I know it's not a perfect match, but it's, it's pretty close. And I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. All right, I'm going to stop this video and then I'll do the next one where I'll go over um, painting it, just some basic painting and selection sets.